shares his message teaching young people how to avoid the AIDS virus, a journey that hasn't always been easy, but one that has not stopped him. Uh, there's tremendous poverty, uh, a lot of starvation in certain areas, and uh, a lot of dislike for uh, anybody, frankly, who was white. Chinnick is the founder of Teen AIDS, an organization based out of the basement of his Fitchburg home, a home he rarely sees because his lesson is one best taught face-to-face -face in the streets his students call home. If I could go on the grassroots level, if I could go on the local level and reach kids directly, I could have an impact on trying to convince them to be peer leaders. And that was what I wanted to do. Hello. Back in the 80s, Chittick sold his art business on Beacon Hill to pay for his Harvard PhD after seeing many fall victims to the disease. I've had over 100 young people I've known in my travels and over the years who have died of AIDS. And they were smart with the books, but were not educated when it came to HIV prevention, and they lost their lives. Why? I mean, it, it doesn't make any sense. Chittick's most recent trip brought him to Sudan, the Congo, and Kenya. And though he's been questioned and hassled in a lot of places that he has visited, it has not stopped him from passing out his business cards with AIDS prevention information printed in the native language. Wearing his trademark Hawaiian shirt, he brought his message to over 300,000 teens, some now carrying on his work. So they've gone from being my volunteers in AIDS to now actually doing their own type of AIDS work. And uh, I was very excited to see that happen and see those kids do that. That makes you feel good when, when you realize your work is being carried on by other kids. When she comes, she'll be Though his passion is strong, cash flow, however, is not. His office is staffed by college interns. Donations pay for his travel, and in each country he finds volunteers to help him as translators. Talk to other mothers. Chittick recently lost his family home to the bank and will have to move within a matter of months, but that hasn't stopped his drive. So I'm slowly uh, selling everything in the house to, to pay my personal expenses so that any money we raise for a teenage goes to actual uh, organization work that we do with teenagers. This is my old buddy's son. For many, 10 years, 300,000 teens in 83 countries would be enough of an impact to stop or at least slow down. But John Chittick is not like many. His mission will be over, he says, only when there is a cure. So I'm driven by this feeling that uh, I can save lives, that my volunteers can save lives, and that every one of these young people can go out and save their best friend's life. And if you believe like I do, then you never want to stop working. Dr. John is writing a book about his travels and his work. He tells us when the economy picks up, he hopes to be able to continue his travels and visit a lot more countries. If you want more information on his organization, all you have to do is log on to our website, myfoxblossom.com, and click on Special Reports.